This is another episode on the basic Azure architecture. In this episode, we are going to discuss the deployment view of the basic Azure architecture. So if you are wondering how the deployment looks like for the Azure architecture when you are planning to create for different uh, environments. So in this uh, episode, we will be talking about how the deployment uh, structure looks like. In case if you have missed any of the previous videos, uh, always recommended to watch uh, those previous videos in this portal, icodeforyou.com. If you go there and uh, you will be able to see the basic Azure architecture uh, components. And I'm keeping all the uh, information up to date in the portal. Um, that's the one way to look at uh, the latest information. Okay, so back to deployment view. In this uh, deployment view, this is again, very high level picture, how the deployment uh, structure looks like for the, uh, the Azure cloud services, which are I'm going to provision. So these are all going to be in the different uh, subscriptions. For example, I'm maintaining the separate subscription for the development uh, separate subscription for the test, separate subscription for the production, in case if you also have the POC that is going to be in a separate subscription so that we are not interfering the um, or interrupting the other environments when the multiple projects are running in the uh, different uh, environments. So let's take a look at, so I'm going to have uh, everything automated using the Azure DevOps. So, so Azure DevOps is the technology we are using for uh, continuous integration and the continuous delivery. So CI and the CD. If you look at in the center, I have the uh, build and release pipeline. Uh, these are build and release pipelines are going to run in a private, uh, uh, private hosted agent, uh, private virtual machine. Um, so if you see there are some developers uh, using the Visual Studio code or the Visual Studio uh, 2020 uh, for you know coding the RM templates uh, or the uh, PowerShell scripts. So those uh, scripts are going to be committed in the Azure uh, Git repo. Uh, Git repo is used for tracking the source code. Everything should be source code driven. We are not doing anything from the portal. So everything should be automated through the Azure DevOps uh, pipeline. So that's the practical uh, you will be seeing in, if you continue the series uh, when we actually discuss about the details. Now, other way to look at is you can also have the Bitbucket uh, RM template. In my case, I'm using the Azure DevOps Git. So, and Azure DevOps Git has a source code. You have the uh, CI CD pipelines in the um, Azure DevOps. And then we are going to automate, we are going to have three separate uh, stages. In the build pipeline, we are going to have one build pipeline for uh, service. So we are going to discuss how we are going to organize those services in the CI CD uh, in the details, but very high level, I have uh, three stages, development, uh, QA and uh, production. And I've listed some of the services here. It's not the exact number just to represent that. I'm going to use three separate subscription for each environment. And these are the some of the services going to be automated through the uh, CI CD pipeline. And uh, uh, this uh, picture shows how the CI CD view looks like. For example, you have a user stories uh, in the Azure DevOps board. Uh, for creating those services and you will pick the backlog items for creating those services as a developer and then uh, do the PowerShell scripts or the RM templates uh, using the Azure, uh, so uh, using the Visual Studio code or the Visual Studio 2022, which is the latest version of the uh, Visual Studio and push those uh, source code into the Azure uh, Git repo. I'm not talking about the source code of the application. I'm talking about the source code of the Azure services. So in this uh, series, I'm completely focusing on the Azure, uh, not the application side. So I will be using the application for hosting, but the source code I'm talking about is the RM templates or the PowerShell scripts, which are going to be sitting inside the Azure Git repo. Um, Git repo will be used as the source control system. Now, if you automate the CI CD, uh, the build will be triggered. And in the build process, you will see, you will have the pulling the code from the Git repo. And if there are any 
um, you get tools required is going to install during the build and then you know there are no tests applicable so these tests are applicable pretty much for um, the source code but if you want to validate the resource exist uh, that can be possible here and package the artifacts and publish the artifacts into the drop folder this is going to happen in the ci and the next one once the ci is completed uh, you will see all the artifacts rm templates or the powershell scripts in the draft folder end of the process then the release uh, pipeline see, continuous delivery uh, will pick those drop folder files and uh, host those into the respective uh, environment so for example if i have this dev stage qa stage production stage and those are going to be hosted in a respective uh, environment for example if i am creating the web app in the app service environment or app service plan for the dev that's how it's going to be uh, deployed and so for the dev the developer will have access to deploy those services but when it goes to the qa and production you need the approval process so approvals and gates will be in place for hosting or for deploying the uh, services into the qa and the production in production we are going to have the swap technology uh, swapping creating the slot for a uh, staging slot and then swap when it becomes the production so this is how uh, you can think of how the devops ci cd uh, looks like in a deployment view so uh, thanks for watching this if you continue watching the series you will see more fun on the azure uh, services side thank you